Welcome to another video. This video is actually the first episode of the Absence of Absence series. As you can see behind me, I built two ships. This one to the left of me, uh, to the right of me, which is the, the left on the screen, obviously. That's built from a tutorial. But the one on the right of the screen, which is on the left of me, obviously, I built that myself. It's bigger than, um... This other ship. This one is hidden partially by fog, but this is big, and I haven't finished the masts yet, but, uh, basically, what I'm going to do in this video is just, a, a short build of a house. It's basically pretty simple. Uh, couldn't find anything else to do, so that's what I was gonna do in this video, just, uh, build a house, gameplay, something like that, but, um, you know how I said the hardcore? Not only will the series be basically set on hardcore, it will be based on a few things. Its main goal is just to achieve more videos within a less amount of time, which is why I'm recording more now. And since, uh, I'll tell you the reason why I'm actually home alone yesterday and today, which was, uh, the 25th and 26th, Tuesday and Wednesday of June, were the two days when my mom's boyfriend had to go to work. But now that he's working, I'm home alone, which is what I need, basically. What these uh, two days have been is basically I recorded the prequel to the Absence of Absence series, and this is the first episode. So basically, the point is just recording more random stuff, who cares? Other stuff on the SMP or the server or whatever it is. Or hardcore, which I just lost first try. And that's the thing, I'll be doing this more during the week, but most of the time I won't be able to talk while recording. So uh, let's get into me building the house. I started making a platform for the house, which is um, cobble deep slate. So we'll get back to you when this is laid out. Here we are with the uh, 10 by 15 cobble deep slate platform. All we have to do now is uh, get some spruce logs and uh, spruce planks, spruce wood. And, um, what I want you to do, see how, um, this is, like, one block out and not here? I want you to do that, so it's, like, outward. So do that for every single one, just diagonally, like, like that. After that, I want you, since you place one, build up seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for each of the four ones. So since you've done that, everything's going to be one block inward from each side. And this is going to be basically a cabin in the forest. Okay, once you've done that, I want you to place spruce planks all the way up here and leave one block lower. So build up six blocks of spruce planks right here in the corner. Once you've done that, we're just going to build along the cobble deep slate until you have this. A three block opening in the very middle, so build, once you build those things up, you're supposed to place five more spruces, uh, spruce planks on each side, and then leave this three thing here. This is where the doorway is gonna be. So build up four right there. Once you place five spruce planks on each side across, and left a three space thing here, build up three here, and then over, so there's gonna be a three by three space right here, we're gonna have to have that there for the doorway, after that, so what we're gonna do is fill this in and do the windows later, so, once you filled all of that in, just like this, we're now going to build two blocks across like this, that's just gonna fill in the top, so we're gonna do the windows now guys, let's place blocks here, and now, it'll look like a 3x3 three three space right here. We're not gonna have a 3x3. Three three. Instead, we're gonna have a, a little 2x2 um, two two window right here. There's gonna be two, like, if you go on the inside, you're gonna look at it. You have the 3x3 three three doorway, which will be changed eventually. And we have, and there we go. That's where our windows are gonna be for the front. For the side, we're gonna break these two blocks here for each side. And then for the back, we're gonna do the same, except there's gonna be two blocks with right here on the back, on each side, and then in the middle, this one. So since this is gonna be double floored at the uh, the fifth block mark, just build up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. That block that you're standing on, just build on it, okay? 
so right here we're just uh, gonna run across each side and place spruce planks right here just like so since you have that we're also gonna do them on the side like just like that we're now gonna take spruce slabs and run across the inner part just like this and then after that what you're going to do is build one block over it and then just do this take spruce planks and run it over it not over this but just over it like as you can see and the top should look like this what you should do to the top is take some hay and just run it across the side just like this for no particular reason it's just gonna look like that this is gonna be the attic it's gonna seem like it's old and it doesn't even have to be a uh, correct order like that uh, decorate it the way you like um this is just something i, I did um and you're also gonna do it like this so since you have the top done like that we go down in here and it should look pretty nice inside the cabin i'm just gonna take normal glass panes but i would do i would just do normal glass because you know it's casual and just you know fill in the holes fill in all the holes so once you filled in all the windows you take a spruce log and build up two on each side of the doorway just like this then you take your spruce wood and look up at here and build three just like so just like that what we're gonna do is take any type of leaf you want you know just to make it match to the house it's gonna be the spruce i like the spruce basically we're gonna build around here and what we're gonna do is leave five blocks in the center like you have the doorway and two blocks on each side are empty that's gonna be left for the porch and stairs the doorway but we're just gonna fill in the side And as you can tell, it's already looking good because it's, uh, inward. Oh, goody, by the way. The weather where I live is getting, like, really stormy, and that's the best part. So anyways, you might see something wrong right now. I do see it. Just to make it look good, make things match, we're just gonna change the window. Of the front, just to two by two. Because, you know, I'm changing that, guys. It's gonna look better. And... Also, another thing that we should do, probably, is build across right here. So what you're gonna do, just build across with the spruce log. And it should look like that. Do that for each side. Guys, as you can already tell, I'm pretty mid at building, but I like it anyways. What we're gonna do now is place for uh, decoration on the exterior. We're just gonna place spruce blocks right here. Just like so in that pattern right there. We're gonna do that for each of the corners. And I'll show you what it is for. Once you've done that, you need to get some spruce stairs and run across just like that. This is gonna give it some um, concave looking thing. Alright, once you've done that, take your slab and run across the top of each like that. Just like so. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I noticed that what I did before, if you were watching, that I built this one too high. So we're just gonna put that lower right there. Just like that. Alright, so since we've corrected that, for each of the upper level, just like this, you build across the top with slabs eat that should look like this for the back this for the side this for the front and yes i did change the windows matches the back too and it looks better so what we're gonna do now is take some cobbled deep slate stairs we're gonna take some stairs and do this exact pattern we're gonna take a spruce door go inside and there we go it always looks more attractive more like shading because it's always in concave as for this all we're gonna do now is just go inside the house. You can do whatever you like. I'm gonna shine it up a bit with a bed. A little bit of storage, you know? This gives it a little bit of, you know, flow and stuff. Oh, you don't have to put it here, but it would be cool to. I also consider barrels being the better option, because it cannot be uh, blocked. You can literally confine them, unlike chests. Yeah, so I just added a little crafting table to the bed side. 
After this, we're just gonna give ourselves a little kitchen right here. We're gonna give ourselves a few smokers like this to smoke some meat and like same thing for this. Also good for other things. And then we're also gonna give ourselves a cauldron, like a sink, doesn't matter. And we're gonna put some more storage up here, just like so. And then, best of all, we're gonna take a spruce fence in the corner. You could just crouch, just sitting right here, as if you're eating, you know. We're gonna have a little chest right here beside the table, so we can just grab our food, whatever's in it, and just, you know, look outside. Pretty cool, chill around. So, that is basically the interior of the lower half. You could add some more stuff here, like... And all the stuff you need to basically fit your needs, whether it's like cooking food, getting some of your storage, just chilling, sleeping, crafting, crafting to uh, fix your armor or improve your sword or whatever. Once you're done with that, or there's going to be more storage up there, but we haven't finished the building yet. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is take some spruce stairs and build along the edge upside down, just like this. This is gonna give it some, uh, look like the, uh, roof is overhanging. So what we're gonna do is just run across again with slabs, just like so. This will look like it's an awning and protect you from the rain if you don't want to get wet, just like that. This is gonna give it a little bit more support if you break this. So what I just did there, do this to each corner is to break this corner block and then two more on each side. And then instead place a plank there and then build around like this with stairs and then cut it off just like that. And then do that for each corner so it looks like it gives it more support. Yup. Makes it look like it has more support. But this is the first time I've done a tutorial. So don't judge me if I act very weird. Anyways, once you've done that, it should look like this. So we have the outer part. And instead we could just place slabs. Just like so. So we're going to take spruce planks. Build along here. Also, here's where we can use our stairs. We could just run it along here. Here's a place where I, where I was saying you can have a lot of storage, just along the inside. And I'll show you what to do later in that. Once you ran along the inside with stairs, go up here and add more slab. Slab block stair combination. Just like this. Block. And then stare again on the inside. Keep on doing that till you go to the top, and I'll just show you what me doing it. This time, we're not gonna use stairs. We're simply just gonna use slabs right here. And then, I add more slab. And there we go, we have the roof to the cabin. It looks okay. That's the thing. It's not gonna have any windows. And in order to get to the attic, to go up a ladder. You could put the ladder somewhere where there's not much going on. Yeah, this is a best place to put it. Right beside the doorway. So you have easy access if you want to get right into it. And you know, the reason why, hypothetically, the reason why I don't want to do it on this, <clears throat> I want to build in one so I don't break this beam. Because if I break this beam, naturally, the support to the house would fall down. So I want it to make sense so that you can easily just, you know, yeah. Now you could do whatever you want with uh, what you're doing here. All we need to do is get a ladder and build up in here. So this is your storage place. Basically, we're not going to use that block there. So all we're going to do is take spruce wood and just place each one in each corner. Yeah. And now we're just going to put barrels 
along the inside. And also, you may be commenting if I don't do this, but what about the lighting of the house? Where do we put that? Well, I'm going to tell you about that just in a second. So, for the attic, these are not full blocks, so you can't place them there. Just get a lantern. You know, just place it right in each of the four corners. Simple as that. I don't know why I was talking about a fog light. So there you go. That is your whole thing. You could have more. That is the attic. You could add more if you want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, comment, turn on all post notifications so you, if you want to see when my next video comes out, including this one. But this was the tutorial for just me building a cabin. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me anything in the comments what I can improve in my buildings and what I did wrong. Um, but basically I'm gonna give you a nice little montage of the house. <laughs>